Welcome to Peter Reacts with me, Peter Bogosian. And today I'm gonna to take a look at Russell Brand. Russell Brand is, among other things, selling a magical amulet. Russell Brand is the individual who has 11.3 million followers on Twitter. Let's take a look at the magic amulet Russell is pawning, selling. Hello, I'm just back from Narnia, where I had a holiday, Mr. Tumnus, Aslan, all those guys. And as you know, airports are places full of Wi-Fi and all sorts of evil energies. Think of all the phones out there, all of the signals, corruptible and corrupting. Luckily, I wear this magical amulet. So he's selling a magical amulet to protect you from his term uh, evil and all the signals out there. So, so let's, let's continue with the video. From Airstech that keeps me safe from all of the various signals out there. And also means, look at this, look how strong I am. I think this is making me more, more powerful. Okay, so it protects him allegedly from signals and he claims to be stronger. <laughs> this is an old scam, by the way. They had those power bracelets that they were selling for years ago. One of my students who worked at Costco told me that they would move those by the crate. They would sell so, so many of those. It's a big scam. He's making a specific claim about the world. He's not saying he likes the design, which I have no problem with. He's not saying it's aesthetically beautiful, which I actually think it's really quite lovely, which I have no problem with. Super cool looking amulet. Uh, but he's making claims about the world. So for him to do this, given his massive following and given his recent conversion uh, and also his recent activities with the Republic and his involvement in politics in the United States is really quite something. Okay, play. More, more powerful as a matter of fact, look at that. This stuff is absolutely packed with air tech. I didn't even bring any socks or toothbrush or dog meats or anything like that. Just completely full of air tech. You should get one as well, particularly if you're planning to go to an airport anytime too soon because the bloody things are full of lethal signals. Air tech, a glorious amulet. Lethal signals. So if the signals were lethal, then people would be dying from them. But people aren't dying from them. So the whole thing is, it's no, it doesn't even rise to the level of being fallacious. It's just, it's idiotic and he's promoting junk science and false claims and he's doing it for profit. He's doing it for money. So let's finish the video. To protect you from corrupting signals. Okay, so he wants to protect you from these corrupting signals. Let's take a look at this amulet. Okay, so here's the amulet. I actually think it's super cool looking. I mean, I don't wear jewelry myself, but I think it's really neat looking. And again, if you want to make an aesthetic claim, that's that's not like making an objective claim. He's saying that you can wear these and in their ads and the brochures, there are advertisements with children. They've given these things to children to protect them. Now, this is not an inexpensive uh, amulet, magical amulet, as they say. This magical amulet is $240. And people have done... There it is. You can you can see it in in some detail. Again, I think it's really cool looking, but it does not do what it claims to do. And someone did a great thread debunking that. Okay, so now let's look at Russell Brand, some of his other activities since he's gone from Lothario to uh, born again Christian. Now let's take a look at he's baptizing people. He's, his Twitter feed, it truly it makes it seem like he has some very severe mental health issues. So let's take a look at this next clip. I'm very excited to get to the book of Hebrews because I like this idea that God is a double-edged sword between soul and spirit, between body and matter. That nothing is hidden from God. All is exposed to God. God understands the deepest truth. Those of us that love God and are moving closer to God welcome that exposure. We welcome it. This is an amazing time to be alive because the, the true spiritual awakening that we're on the precipice of, of receiving, I believe, let me know if you agree with this, means that very powerful interests, big food, big pharma, big food industry that benefits from keeping Americans sick, big pharma that benefits from keeping America sick are about to be exposed. Something very powerful could happen politically in the next few days. I'm so excited and I think my belief is that the only way we can contribute to it, the only way I can contribute to it, 
is by continuing to do my best to convey truth. Okay, so he wants to do his best to continue to convey truth while he sells a magical amulet supposedly to protect people from evil and, and corruptible rays. So he's doing his best to convey truth. It, it, it's hard to take this seriously. And it's, I'd really like to know how many magical amulets they've sold. It's just hard to take this seriously. And there's so much, I was just telling Travis, it's like I, I, I heard a, uh, somebody, a New York prosecuting attorney describe the mafia as a bunch of cockroaches running around. Every time you stomp on one, there are 10 more around and they keep popping up again. Every time we get rid of one or address one form of irrationality or derangement, another one pops up again. This is a great example of that. Let's take a look at some of his stuff he's doing with Rescue the Republic. Okay. So here's Russell Brand and Jordan Peterson. And it's hard to view what Russell Brand is doing. It's hard to look at him, him as somebody who's sincere. He's had a... Uh, qu quite the past, quite the past sexual history, which is his business. Those are the choices he's made. Certain things came to light, and conveniently he found Jesus. And I'm not saying that, that his conversion experience wasn't a real one. But I am saying that this is him at Rescue the Republic. He clearly seems like he's a man who has some mental health issues. I like Brett. I like Heather. I like the organizers. Some of my friends were at the event. Peterson was there. I would not want this man anywhere near the idea of rescuing the Republic and conveying truth. I think it's a, a mistake, and I think it's not politically savvy to have him involved in spite of his mass following. Reed, you're looking skeptical. I care about his ideas and what we're using. Dude, he's a guy who believes in magic amulets. He believes in magic amulets, and he's saying he his goal is to convey the truth then everything else should be suspect. We have serious problems in society. It should be addressed by the best medical explanations we can come up with for what's happening. Right, and his judgment is already compromised. I mean, that's a, so obvious that there's a magic amulet to protect you from UV rays. That's just ridiculous. This just sounds like Okay, but he just said that he's interested in what's true and his sole job is to convey the truth. That's his contribution. So he's either lying or he's hypocritical. Or he doesn't know how to evaluate claims with evidence, so then that's not what he's doing. He's not conveying the truth. He thinks he's conveying the truth, but he's not conveying the truth. He's not unwell. I do think he's mentally unwell. I can't prove that he's mentally unwell, but looking at his Twitter feed, he clearly seems he has some serious mental health issues. Okay, so what, what we have here is somebody who has a very, so shall we say, colorful sexual past. He became exposed. He found Jesus. Maybe that conversion is legitimate. Maybe it isn't legitimate. He strikes me as a man who clearly has mental health issues. He's selling magical amulets. He's claiming that his sole job now is to convey the truth. He's associated with Rescue the Republic, which again, I'm very sympathetic to. And I think given his tremendous following of over 11 million people on social media and Twitter alone, I think that we need to be incredibly skeptical and suspicious of the claims. And I would also advise people to not only be skeptical of Russell Brand and other extraordinary claims that people have made, but I think that we need to be a little bit less enamored by celebrity because in this case, celebrity is clearly leading people astray. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This falls under the umbrella of my nonprofit, National Progress Alliance. Your generous donations keep us going and help fuel content like this. We truly appreciate your support. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.